the change that we need to see is huge. And this really involves everyone in society. We need to get everyone walking towards a common goal. Zero Carbon Britain is a scenario for basically a better future. It's a scenario for a UK where we have sorted out our problems, where we have um, no net greenhouse gas emissions, run on 100% renewable energy and have better diets. And we've worked out in detail how we could achieve that. It's mapping out a different kind of future based around what the science demands. It might be politically easier to talk about something that is a little more moderate, but we, we talk to the climate scientists, we, we work out what they're saying we have to do, and then we construct it in terms of very detailed, robust spreadsheets looking at power supply, power consumption. Then, having that model, we can then begin to help take people there. We basically had two teams. So there were two people who were working on the energy systems research. Uh, largely one person on what we call power up, which is introducing renewables into the scenario, and one person on power down, which is reducing our energy consumption. And then we had two people who were working on the land use aspect of things. So one of them was a nutritionist looking into food and diets, and the other was a, a general uh, land use specialist. The conclusion is that yes, we can keep the lights on all the time. We can run an energy system on 100% renewable energy. It isn't always easy. So, you know, we do need a lot of renewable energy generating capacity, a lot of wind turbines, a lot of solar panels, and we do also need storage technologies. So for example, in our scenario, we are looking at technology to create synthetic gas. So something that is very similar to the natural gas that we have today, but created from renewable energy. And we make that when the wind blows very hard on days like today, when we have more energy than we need maybe from the wind turbines. And then we use that gas on days when the wind doesn't blow um, to burn it in gas power stations and make electricity. We've made it quite an, an engaging report, we hope. Um, and with that, we want people to go to policymakers, we want them to go to their MP and say, look at this, you know, this is something that we can do. We only use currently available technology um, in the report to create the solutions for the future. And it's something that we can be doing from right away. It's something we need to do right away. The challenge is a large one, but with people getting engaged in it, we can create a future for ourselves that is very positive. A climate secure future doesn't mean sitting in a cave eating insects off the wall, as so many would love to think that that's what the Greens mean. It means we can have higher well-being, we can have better diets, warmer houses, lower bills, but also perhaps less of a fear of the future and a sense of a collective common purpose that we're doing something together as a society that will give benefits to future generations. Thank you.